computations of a neural network is divided into two parts. One is forward pass or forward propagation, where the goal is to compute the output of the neural network. And there is a second pass, which is backward pass or back propagation, where the goal is to compute the gradients or derivatives. And computation graph explains why it is organized that way. So in order to understand uh, the computation graph, let's look at a simpler example, not a full-fledged neural network, not logistic regression, but a very simple function of three variables. So f uh, depends on x, y, and g, and this is a small function, simple function. So you can think of it as that. First, you need to calculate the product of x and y. So let's call it variable u. Then whatever is the value of u, you will add that to a value of z. And you can get another variable v. And finally, whatever is the value of v, you multiply it with 5 to get the final function f. Uh, so let me write uh, u equal to x, y, v equal to u plus z and f equal to 5 times v. And uh, these are the inputs x, y, g. So what you will do, you will first multiply these two. Then once you have the value of u, you will add to it z. v equal to u plus z. And once you have v, you will multiply it with 5 to get f. And this is the output. So let's take one concrete example. Let's say the value of uh, x, y, and g are 2, 3, and 5. So what will be the value of u? u will be x times y, that is 6. And this is 5. So we add these two to get 11. So v is 11 and uh, the value of f is 55 and in this function also if you substitute 5 times uh, 3 into 2 is 6 plus 5 that is 55. In fact both ways we are doing the same thing so they have to come equal. So a computation graph comes in handy when there is some special output variable, for example, f in this case, uh, that you want to optimize. And in the case of logistic regression, uh, f was the, uh, the work of f was done by j. We had seen j as the cost function and which we were trying to minimize. So uh, here we have just seen uh, one a kind of computation, the forward pass. So you see the arrows in forward direction and this, this way we computed the output that is 55 or even the output of individual steps, intermediate steps. In the next video, we will see the backward pass and we will see that there are arrows going in backward direction. So we will compute, we will have arrows like this, then like this, and so on. So the way we came forward, we will go back and we will first compute the derivative of this with respect to this and then uh, derivative of this with respect to this and so on in order to compute the derivative of this final thing with respect to input.